Hey y'all. Well, I'm headed to a doctor appointment. Ooh, look at the sky. It's getting dark. There's a lot of storms out there today, so y'all be careful. Um, no dead birds, but there's some little green thing. I hope it's not a frog that's trapped in that corner. I always worry about the animals every time I've gone by there. There's been a little animal issues, you know? Okay, I don't remember where I parked. I parked on one. So I'm gonna go through the garden instead of down the stone pathway. It's nice. I'm in heels, so I have to be a little careful. And I am still using my briefcase as my purse today. And I actually have my laptop in it because right after my doctor appointment, I'm going to need to do some work. And I may just literally sit down in a, a Starbucks or something and work. If you wonder why I don't sit down in a Chick-fil-A, it's because if I go to a Chick-fil-A, I need to, um, you know, talk to the operator and and be social or help. And uh, so typically if I go to work, typically I don't take my laptop to work somewhere else. I'll just take it home, work on it, sitting on my sofa or typically, since I'm using the word typically so much, I will just um, use my desktop at home to work. But, I must admit, it's not as easy. There's no smoking. There's no smoking on this campus. Oh, wow. Some, oh, there's work going on over there. There's a lot of construction going on, so not everybody who's here is from my company. Of course, that's always true. There's always visitors. And uh, we're not going to be rude about it to them. But you know, when something says it's a smoke-free property, you should respect it, no matter where you are, whether it's a doctor's office or company, business, or, you know, some whole area, some people's cities. You're not even allowed to smoke outside. But it does, it transfers through the air. People say, well, it's free country, it is, until your rights impede someone else's rights, especially health. I don't even want to go there. But anyway, um, if you're wondering why I'm looking down instead of at you, because I'm in heels walking in that gravel, I had to be very, very careful. But anyway, I did my park far away thing again. And uh, cause I could have gone up a couple of flights and park right by the elevator and just rode down. And um, some days I do park a few flights up, stairwell flights up, and uh, then I use the stairs, but not when I'm carrying something this heavy. And I didn't even know that this morning, so I'm so glad I didn't. I would have had to probably, especially being in heels. But I'm wearing my white slacks, so I have my white shoes, and they have a heel. See? Where are they? They're somewhere down there. <laughs> I can't angle this thing, but just trust me. Okay. Um, so I hope y'all are doing good. Um, I didn't get to do the birch box opening yesterday, but instead I did the things I'm loving lately. And uh, I need to do a plan with me this coming weekend. And I may be doing an organize my closet. So it would take so many videos. It's gonna take me days, y'all. I'm probably going to use Saturday and Memorial Day to do this. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so now I'm getting in my car. Um, so y'all know you go in the cup. You go in the cup when you're in the car. Hold on. In the cup you go. Oops. Sorry about that. Uh, I think you're going to slide. We'll see. This is heavy. Can you tell my hands better? Oh! <laughs> Sorry about that. You dropped out of the cup. Alright. Um. Here, I'll put you over here. Oh, that's just great, Beth. Let us people 
us southern subbies get a wonderful view of your windshield. It's probably better than the view of me right now. <sighs> All right, because of the weather, my hair is just like yuck. You know, it's really, it's a little frustrating when you do go to the trouble to fix your hair and it was for nothing. You know, it was not even worth it. You could have just had dirty hair. <laughs> dirty hair. Um, oh, this wants me to know that I'm getting a little close. I love my little park assist. It says, you're getting a little close, Bethy. Beth, Beth, Beth. And then if you get really close, It'll say Beth, 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 <laughs> Yeah, because my front end was getting real close on that turn. But I'm good now. Everything's fine. So, um, you guys comment below and tell me the kind of videos you want me to do. I know you want me to do the husband tag. Uh, I need to go find the questions. And I know you're not supposed to preview them with your husband. But that's scary. What if he says something? I don't have to upload the video if I don't want to, right? So let's just, I'll do it. I promise I will do it without letting him know the questions in advance. Um, I just wanted to also be good questions. Because sometimes the, um, I see more than one tag and some of the questions are dumb. It's like, you know, what are y'all's favorite colors kind of questions. Like, nobody wants to know that. Um, but it's stuff like, you know, where did y'all meet? And, um... All that kind of stuff, so. Um, I don't know. I'll have to go look. Is there more than one kind of husband tag? I think so. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Look at all this construction. Look at this. All through these beautiful trees. Oh, it's a little depressing. Because I like it. Now, I want y'all to see. If y'all can see the little chicken out there. See him on the, garden, the um, island? Can y'all see him? nice and sunny so I think you can but all these woods have got beautiful botanical additions this year uh, what that means is blooming flowers will be a part of this property uh, they also put up some more security um, fencing you know true it was just a trusting man and unfortunately this world can't be trusted he did trust god to protect him and god always did and i and i feel like god is always protected chick-fil-a but at the same time bad things do happen to good people and um <laughs> um we just have to take precautions the best way to explain that to me when people are like well what do you not trust god it's like no i do i do completely trust god but i saw a marquee on a church i saw a saying on a church marquee once usually they're just awful but this one was good and it says trust god and lock your car it's like well don't be an idiot i mean God gives you the sense to know to do certain things and do those things that are wise. Uh, we have to ask him for things that when we are not wise or knowledgeable or whatever, we may need to ask God. But sometimes it just makes sense in a world that is hostile, especially to Christians. And people just think that Chick-fil-A is a Christian company. It's not. There are Christians in it, but there's Christians in other companies. Um, our leadership Meaning um, a couple, of, well, the family, they are Christians. As far as I know, they're pretty faith-pronounced Christians. Um, no one knows who's a Christian. Lots of people say they're a Christian. No one knows who a Christian is but the Lord God because he's the only one who knows the heart. And that's what Jesus was talking about when he said, judge not lest you be judged. He was talking about you can't judge a person's heart. That puts you in the position of being God. Now, you can and should, within the church, judge other people. Christian behavior so that we all hold each other up to be accountable to the way we live. That's out of love. It never should be out of gossip or envy or with a, any kind of hate in the heart. It should be love in the heart said gently with more than one friend coming up and saying, hey, we love you. We've seen an issue. We think we should bring your attention to your face. And we want to help. We're not here to pull you down. We're here to lift you up. That's the way you tell people when something's wrong and it has to be dealt with and and just frankly immoral behavior um and that immoral behavior includes anything just downright ugly 
with all the listed sins, and there's plenty of sin that anything that is not of God is sin. And he's real clear about what that is, but um, we could talk about that sometime. If y'all want to, let me know. Um, but in the, there's a few paragraphs of sin that they're, it's like a list. <coughs> a lot of people refer to them, um, but they, people a lot will point out some of them and leave out others. Like they'll say, well, homosexuality is a sin. It's like, so is pridefulness, which is thinking that you're above another person. Well, you know, um, adultery is a sin. It's like it absolutely is, but so is gossiping. So is lying. Um, so we shouldn't act like that just because we think a particular sin we may commit is less than what somebody else's commits or something like pride that's it's it um it's it's hard to um quantify or identify sometimes and um so th that's not as easy to pick out as the ones that are easy to pick out on the outside so but sin is sin to god he forgives it all if he's asked to in the name of the Lord Jesus because he's your Savior. Uh, the sin, the prayers that he hears from someone who has not made Jesus their Savior is the, the prayers that are asking for that. For, to receive the Holy Spirit, to live in their life, to give up their life, and to take Jesus as their Savior. That's the prayer he hears from an unsaved person. From a saved person, he hears the prayers of request and answers on behalf of what he already has told us in the word of God. So really, um, we're having a relationship with him when we're talking to him, but we already know yes and no's from the Bible. Most things, some things are a little, uh, more difficult to figure out. They're not gray. And, you know, people say the Bible isn't just black and white. It's gray. No, God's, there's no, there's a line drawn between sin and not sin. It's not gray. It's just sometimes we don't get it. And sometimes we'll read the Bible and we'll think this conflicts with that. Well, it doesn't because God can't conflict with himself. So it's just we have to study the Bible to show ourselves approved. Study the Bible to show, to add, and ask the Holy Spirit, will you show me what this means? So anyway, there I got off on a little Betty Bible devotion or something. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go because this is, it's time. Love you, bye.